everyone, welcome to Polarization Tutorial. In this tutorial, we will look at how the developer can create component with localizable properties, and we will also look at how the developer can localize his code base strings. For the purpose of this tutorial, we will assume that you have gone through the exercise of creating a work central application where you have your custom component called a custom label component. And we're going to use this application to illustrate how the developer will go about localizing his application using the innovation suite. So let's get started. First, let's create a brand new view with the custom component that we have created. I'm going to set the label property of this custom component to be welcome to work central. Next, I'm going to modify my shell configuration so that my home page now points to this new view. Let's test the application to make sure that it works. Next, I'm going to launch another instance on my browser and I'm going to change my browser settings such that my browser language is now French. Now let's launch our application on the French browser and see how it looks. As you can see, the login page has already been translated into French, so we know that we are on the French browser. But as you would expect, our application is still showing in English, and that's because we have not gone through the process of localizing our application. So how do we localize our application? It's actually very straightforward. We need to ensure that the custom component that we have created declare which of its properties are localizable. And to do that, all you have to do is go to the component config.js file and search for the property that you want to make localizable and set it to localizable true. Once I'm done with my changes, I'm going to go ahead and redeploy my application. And because I have changed the source code of my custom component, I'm going to go ahead and recreate my view here. Let's test out our application on our French browser. As you can see, it's still in English, and that's because we have not gone through the process of actually localizing the application. Innovation Suite allows you to download all localizable strings for your application. As you can see, there are two strings in our application that is in need of translation. So let's go ahead and translate these two strings into French. We'll continue by uploading our French translations onto the server. Let's test our application out on the French browser that we have here. As you can see, all the strings have been translated into French. Next, let's try something new. Let's say I want to see a current time being shown right underneath the label. First, I'm going to go to the HTML file of my custom component and add a span variable. Next, I'm going to go to the JavaScript file of my custom component, and I'm going to assign the current time scope variable to the value of new date dot to date string. Let's redeploy our application so that we can test out our changes. As you can see, we now have a current time string right underneath the work central label. And also, the date string here is showing in English. So how do we go about localizing this string here? In order to localize the static strings in your code or code based strings as we sometimes call it, you need to extract those strings out into a separate file. So if you look under your web app resources itnn folder, you will see that we have pre-created a localized strings.json file. So let's open up this file and let's create a new key value pair to represent our string here. The key needs to be unique across all bundles. So we're going to namespace this key with our bundle ID, which is com.example.workcentralapp. And we're also going to put in more information so that we know where the key is being used. And for example, we in our example here, we put in the name of the custom component and also what the string is. And now we're going to assign this key the value of current time. Next, I'm going to go to the HTML file of my custom component and I'm going to replace the current time string that I previously hot coded in the file with the new key that I have created. I'm going to apply the Angular Translate filter to it. Next, 
I'm going to go to the JavaScript file and instead of using new date, I'm going to use the moment library to format my date string. Now let's save these changes and redeploy our application to test things out. The date time string is now translated into French, but our current time string is still in English. So let's actually localize the application. Run the Maven command with minus p localization. What this does is take the localized strings or JSON file that we previously created and create localizable strings object on the server for each string that we have. Once this process is done, we can go to our Innovation Studio again and download all the translations for our application. As you can see, now in our translations, we have three strings. So let's go through the normal process of translating these strings. Finally, let's test our application again. As you can see, everything is now translated in French. This concludes our localization tutorial. Thank you very much for all your attention.